I bought a new oscilloscope. This is a USB oscilloscope from Handic. Uh, it uh, makes life so much easier. I can see what's going on. Where the, my old 10 megahertz uh, Tektronix scope uh, really left in the blind here. But anyway, the big announcement here is uh, you're now seeing the famous H pulse, uh, which is our H pulse with our circuitry, and uh, we can recapture that energy also, which is unique. And uh, the big breakthrough here, which is coming up, the big surprise is that we are no longer limited to one back EMF pulse for one in pul input pulse. We're, we come up with a circuit and a new coil design that's going to allow us to have uh, virtually as many back EMF pulses uh, uh, captured as we'd like. There, of course, will be some limitation. Now, here's the standard uh, way it was with the standard Starship coil. You input the square wave. Uh, and you got a 700 volt, uh, negative 700 volt uh, back EMF pulse. But they also get a, a forward EMF pulse, both in the input and the uh, output, and you can recapture both of those too. So anyway, getting back to the, the big breakthrough is that we're, out, we're now able to come up with a completely different system. And this is going to make all kinds of neat things possible. Uh, and here is a screen capture with just one pulse look at all those uh, pulses we we found and uh, we got probably 70 or 80 and notice it continues after the pulse so this is really neat and this a little bit uh, bigger blow up this to show you and the it doesn't matter the, the the amplitude of the pulse is a is the same as if we're just doing a single pulse we're not giving up one thing whatsoever because uh, what i've found is that uh, the, the, the back EMF pulse never changes uh, uh, once your coil is saturated uh, that's the most you're going to get out of it but we can saturate the Starship coil as many times we want in a given cycle and this is all made possible again by the new uh, Starship uh, super coil uh, again this is under private contract I cannot uh, disclose any of the uh, information about the, the circuit and everything uh, I'm going to give you just a kind of a, a far away shot here and one of the things we developed is a, a, a super firing controller and the electronics for this nothing unusual uh, just that nobody has thought about how to do this and I took a lot of time studying John Bedini's stuff to make sure I did was not based on his circuitry so here's an out of focus shot here because I don't want to disclose any of the type of uh, circuitry that we're doing here and actually two different circuit boards that we got hooked up <coughs> excuse me and uh, so uh, this is using just one winding of a dual winding superstar ship coil more to come of course HHO for volts thanks for watching